After you pulled out of your presidential bid, um, you s launched a, a PAC to support Joe Biden, 77 years old, uh, white guy, supported the 90s crime bill, and has made a lot of missteps, gaffes, when it comes to talking about race. Uh, I'm sure you've got your talking points down, but <laughs> but just just give me like a little bit, a little informal yeah, bit. So the first thing about like why he's the why you think he's the right so, guy. No, no, it's fair. It's a fair point. First of all, just to be clear, Together Fund is not just about the Biden campaign. In fact, it's not even just about this election cycle. It's about encouraging uh, and elevating the values of generational responsibility, of uh, servant leadership of um, uh, community building as um, frames for how we make policy and supporting candidates for the Senate and the House, as well as the president, uh, who uh, are willing, frankly, to lose in service of those, uh, of those values. And I think, look, I know, I've known Joe Biden for God, a long time, and I know him to be a deeply empathetic person. I agree. He can be, uh, you mentioned the gaffes, he can be uh, clumsy in his public speaking and, uh, and so forth. I see that, everybody sees that. So can I, and so are other regular people. Um, and I think he is, he's always been growing. He's always been evolving. I love community policing as a strategy, might be the one great thing to come from the crime bill um, in 1994, but there's a lot about that crime bill that may have seemed uh, politically smart then, um, but that has been responsible for an awful lot of damage, direct or indirect, by setting a model that a lot of states uh, followed around uh, minimum mandatory um, sentencing. And I think he uh, uh, himself has uh, has said publicly, yep. I know he has uh, uh, personally, that uh, it's time to uh, it's time to fix that. Now, having said that. I think it's incumbent on all of us to push him and to push our party um, to be bold because that's what the moment demands. You know, it's, it's, it's one thing um, to campaign, Ian, uh, you know, with your supporters and for their uh, support and so on. But once you get the job, you have to govern for everybody. The people who voted for you, the folks who didn't, the folks who just um, stayed home, sadly. And uh, we haven't seen that in the last um, uh, little while, but is, it is what we, what we need going forward. And I think we have to demand that, uh, that we break this old pattern of, you know, expecting the worst from Republicans and the minimum from Democrats, but asking for a bold unifying agenda um, that is enabling of people, again, in ways that this, uh, this last little while hasn't been.